Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we're going to uh, rescue some data off of this Cruiser Glide 16 gigabyte thumb drive, flash drive, USB drive, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the tip on the end or the port connector, it actually snapped off inside the computer and broke off both of the anchors and rip the pads off of three out of the four pads and this is pretty common I, I get these a lot and um, we're going to use a very simple process to recover the data off of this drive and uh, we're going to go through the steps to do that here in this video There's just a little bit of damage to the PCB there next to that one anchor, but it's not enough to uh, to stop us from getting the data. So actually there's nothing really wrong with the USB drive itself. So all of the data is still retained on on the uh, the flash memory. But you cannot plug it into the computer anymore to get the data off because the connector has actually been snapped off. And this is the original connector that broke off. You can see the three pads still stuck to those three pins there. But we're not going to use that for this repair or data rescue. So we've got a trace there and another one here that's, that's actually torn up a little bit, pulled off. But they are still actually attached to um, where they need to go. So we're going to leave those like they are and we're going to start scraping a little bit of this uh, masking off on this uh, area here for this first pad. It's a very simple process and it can be used in a lot of situations. Um, as long as the USB drive itself is still good and the data is still accessible. This method will work in most of these kind of cases. So I've just recently gotten a microscope camera. I haven't had one pretty much the entire time uh, that uh, I've been doing this, these videos. Um, and um, so this is uh, a nice uh, sort of example case where we'll be able to use the microscope camera to show um, this particular a method for retrieving the data off of a broken USB drive. So now we're going to expose some of the copper on the end of this trace and on the one next to it as well.
and we're just gently scraping so we have to be very careful we don't want to uh, scrape any more than we have to and we don't want to do any other damage to the uh, PCB than what's already been done So we've got what we need uh, to work with on the ends of these two traces and on the other pad there. So we're just going to brush these off a little bit and get some of the uh, stuff off of there that we just scraped off. Little masking, little bits of masking and stuff. So we'll get all that off of there. And go ahead and get some flux out. And we're going to tin each one of these uh, exposed uh, bits of copper here with some fresh solder. In this case, we're just going to put some solder on the tip first, and then we're going to just go over and uh, touch each one of these areas where we've exposed the copper. And what we're doing here is called tinning. And all that really means is that we're going to put a little solder on each one of these uh, spots that we've scraped away the masking and expose the copper underneath and what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to take um, what we want to solder to the ends of that which in this case is going to be some uh, essentially magnet wire I believe this is a 30 gauge that we'll be using that's been attached to another uh, USB port or connector that I use pretty frequently on these um, types of USB drives. So it has the four uh, wires that stick out there and um, this way I can just reuse it over and over. So we'll start at the top here on this top pad. We'll get that one on there and then we will uh, attach the other two or the other three uh, so we'll just go down the line So there's not a lot of thermal mass in this particular wire. It's very thin, actually. It, uh, it's fairly thick uh, under the microscope. I do have some wire that's even thinner than that. But in this particular case, this wire works, actually, is just perfect for our needs. Um, so you really don't need to keep the uh, soldering iron on there for very long for it to make a connection. However, they do it does need to be sitting still. So they have to be lined up just right and uh, sitting still long enough for you to, you know, touch the wire with the soldering iron tip and uh, just briefly for a moment there until the solder is melted and then pull it away and it should stay.
attached. But in this case we're going to need some tweezers and we're going to have to hold that wire down. So we'll need both hands here. So I was trying to do this without having to hold it with the tweezers, but that didn't work out very well for me. And it probably would have been a little bit easier if we had to put this board in some sort of a... Uh, a vice or something, but uh, it's just laying on the bench. But once we get the wire um, and we're able to hold it down with the tweezers, uh, it becomes a lot easier. So we're just going to touch that up real well, make sure it has a nice solid connection, and we're going to move on to the next one. So I'm going to switch hands with the soldering iron here, but I need to get some solder on the tip here first. And then we'll switch hands so I can come at a different angle here without actually moving the board around. And that one went on nice and easy. And this last one is piece of cake. Okay, so as long as we've got everything connected and nothing is bridged between the two pins in the middle there, and they're not touching, in other words, we're good to go. So we're going to plug this into our computer here. Now we'll be able to see the light on the drive light up. So here's just a wide shot kind of showing the entire connector attached to the thumb drive and the light is blinking. And we're going to jump over to screen capture and we're just going to briefly show uh, that the drive is detected. And we'll create a new folder and copy these files over to the new folder. We'll then transfer them to a new thumb drive for and give it back to the customer. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe, share and all that good stuff. It really helps me out when you do that. And we're going to keep try to keep these kinds of things uh, going. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.